Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Basali, your orthopedics faculty with Marrow. And it again gives me, I don't know, I mean, this is different. This is, this not only makes me feel proud, but this makes me feel amazed at how such a person who has come from such humble background uh, found such immense success uh, in uh, in ISET exam. So let me introduce Dr. Nanvel to you. Uh, he's from uh, Madras Medical College. He has secured rank eight in November. I mean uh, May INI set uh, this year, and it's such an amazing rank. But uh, congratulations, Doctor! Uh, it's such an amazing rank, I and mean, I feel so happy for you. How do you feel? Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Doctor Nanavel. I've completed my UG at uh, Madras Medical College 2016 batch. Uh, it was very happy to sharing the screen with uh, Doctor Sir, and uh, I'm very happy, sir. Right. So, Dr. Nanuel, uh, your parents come from a farming background, uh, agricultural background, and I, I'm sure they must understand how important this exam for you. But I feel that they really don't understand the, 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 the value of this rank that you have achieved. It is among the best of the best that you have secured rank eight. Have you been able to uh, in, you know, explain the importance of this rank to them? Well, I could understand. Uh, I could understand it's somewhat difficult, sir, but they can understand. They can understand. They must have seen you struggle and work so hard over the years uh, to secure such an amazing rank. Yes, sir. Right. Uh, so let me. Was... Your mother was? Uh, mom was more uh, influenced by my odd words, sir. She uh, keeps telling, uh, don't read. Uh, it's more of uh, like uh, you're working hard. So she's uh, keeping my book and keeping my iPad off every time. <laughs> so this is the first time I'm hearing this. Your your mother is asking you to take a, you know take a break and relax and stop working yes. so hard. It's wonderful. It, it just goes to show how much effort you have put in, and it's truly deserved. You know you, you truly deserve this rank. So uh, I mean we will feel honored and blessed if you can share your strategy with us, and that is the whole purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is to uh, understand how you proceed and uh, you know for preparing for such an exam and what you did. So the first question to you is uh, what was your primary source of preparation for INI set exam this year? Uh, like, uh, I have said that I have secured a 398 in NEET PG, sir. So mm -hmm. I've got around 70, 170 questions, right? So comparing with the top performance, it was like 180 coming like uh, top 100, top 50, top uh, 25 and all. So I thought like where I'm going this 10 to 15 questions wrong. So uh, I thought worth analyzing. And then um, compared with previous uh, INI papers, there are more uh, concentrated on uh, first and second year subjects. So I thought uh, I should be very thorough with the first and second year subjects like a path and micro. So it will covering around 20% uh, of the syllabus, like 200 questions. Among the 200 questions, it's like covering uh, 40 to 45 questions. It's from the path and micro itself, where uh, more of contradictory options are not there. Like uh, in medicine and uh, pediatrics, there will be like uh, one or two options may be misleading and uh, maybe the both options may be correct. Uh, it may be misleading. So uh, someone tell uh, like one is the correct and the other is the right. But in path and micro, there is... Uh, no contradictory options. And uh, so I thought of uh, more uh, build up on the first and second year prof subjects for the INIC. Right. So for this first and second year prof subjects, you said that you have used a lot of revision videos from Marrow that has been helpful to you. How did yes, you sir. go about using them? Uh, first, uh, I have watched MAM's uh, micros videos. Sir. So first, Marrow six videos are uh, short and crisp. And then first when I conquered the Maro 6th edition, and then I went back to other uh, like Maro 5th edition videos where somewhat elaboration was done, sir. So first revision videos from the micro I have done from the Maro 6th edition. And then I went back uh, Ma'am's 5th edition videos where she has uh, added up some more informations like uh, the cycles which have not dealt in this or dealt on that. So for, for the second revision, I have used that video, sir. So it was very helpful from the crisp and concise. So, all right. so no, no, no. some of the students sometimes have told me that they found that uh, uh, understanding microbiology was a little difficult, uh, right? So can you help me understand how um, Dr. Shivika has made microbiology very easy for you uh, to read and revise from Marrow? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, cycles are more from the CDC cycles, which uh, they'll ask in the exams. And they're also uh, histopathology images, or they are more concentrated with uh, this INA. They are asked around the 
two questions from the aspergillus itself and then uh, one question from the some other uh, histopathology image of the organism itself so it was like direct questions you have to uh, i've seen the images or i've seen the cycles it's like a, a sure shot you have to answer them in 5 seconds that so you have time seen, so madam has covered all of those things i mean madam has taught you all of those things in the yes, videos sir. uh in revision videos it was more concise and crisp sir uh, so wherever I, i may go wrong i will pause the video i once again see the cycle so i will be getting clarity sir okay so madam has taught and done a wonderful job giving you you know precise information uh, with respect to microbiology for ins at exam and i'm sure she has done it and that is why uh, it becomes easy for you to you know move on to topics like pathology and medicine uh, because the information is so crisp and concisely given by madam now let me ask you about uh, the revision videos of other subjects that you have used on the maro platform how did you find them sir uh, this your wise that is the best i think uh, uh krishna kumar sir has done a uh, hey, marvelous job i think uh, i uh, first i have done uh, is revision videos from the maro sir so it's like i have done from the 2x first it was uh, like fine movements we can't pitch rise or pitch down it was like uh, it, we can understand the language of the what you is going to tell in, even if you are uh, doing the job in 2x so when i am doing in the second time i'll do it in 2.5 when i was doing a third time i can do it in 3x so that uh, i can clearly understand his words and vocabulary it was how many times have you watched the videos how many times have you watched the videos i think i have watched uh, krishna kumar sir's videos around 3 uh, to 4 times wonderful revision wonderful. videos amazing amazing what other subjects have you used uh, from Mar maro revision videos uh, i have used anat sir anat this was uh, more more uh, enormous to compile with uh, uh there uh, you these students will, will make uh, like uh, very struggle to compile so sir has done a job uh, which was very easy for us wonderful wonder he has given you the relevant anatomy the gross images as well as uh, yes, the, yes, the, yes. the representations yes. of schematic images that are usually asked particularly on the ini set exam wonderful wonderful now yes. moving on to the question bank um, dr nanuel uh, how did you find the maro question bank and what was your uh, you know strategy for doing the question bank uh, like uh, i have cover i have uh, gone through the previous ini papers sir where they can concentrate more so i have uh, concentrated more on the second prof uh, prof uh, subjects and then i go to the major major uh, subjects like obg why i have covered only the topics i didn't go through that uh, like the entire peer bank it is very uh, so what about the topics to the topics that you have covered are you covered it from the schema yes sir i have covered it from the schema where uh, it will frequently ask her topics so wherever i feel topics which are weaker when i find in the gps when i was going through so i'll take the topics once from the sheet of paper and then i go through the schema where it will be covered so what is nice about schema is uh, like i have uh, done wrong in carcinoma staging like carcinoma cervix staging i'll go through the carcinoma cervix it will be written as carcinoma cervix and then when i click it it will be like uh, order of questions which will be coming up so i can go through the entire explanation in one go right so in the schema list if you see ca cervix when you open it you will see all the relevant mcqs around ca cervix you will see the relevant pearls around ca cervix and the previously asked questions around ca cervix so essentially the moment you click on that ca cervix you will be able to learn and read about everything that has been asked and is likely to be asked regarding or around ca cervix on this exam so it's a very very helpful tool and we have been seeing most of the toppers in the interviews have been using schema very nicely and it has worked for you now what about the 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 grand tests and the mock exam how many have you taken it and what was your uh, strategy with reviewing the grand tests uh i'll taken around 15 sir 15 okay. gts okay uh i'll first i was in the 95th percentile sir and then okay. i gradually moved to 99 percentile sir amazing so, amazing yes sir uh, while reviewing gts i'll go through once sir i don't uh, have the concept of uh, viewing it in thrice or twice so i got uh, 200 in a go one go so it's like uh, when whenever i go, get wrong silly mistakes i'll i'll write in the paper like uh, it was like actual based means i have to go through that uh, 20th road book or whatever they may call so i'll write in the separate uh, ipad or in the notes or in the any other paper where i can uh, 
go through the wrong factual mistakes or silly mistakes and then uh, concepts wise when i entirely don't know the topic i'll go through the uh, topic once and through the schema sir okay perfect so you would do the grand test and if there were facts that you can't remember you would just write it down on a piece of paper and maintain that 20th book or if it was a concept that you were unaware of you would go through the schema and that schema will immediately show you all the relevant questions around that concept pearls around that concept so reviewing that concept becomes easy and that is how you covered the information that you could not read uh, with the help of uh, schema and uh, the the tests right now what about the mock exam did you appear for the ini set mock exam Yes, sir. I have attended, sir. What was your rank in the mock exam? Ah, uh, my rank around the one forty, sir. One forty. So this is a huge jump from one forty to rank eight. Usually, the mock exams on Maro platform are quite representative of the rank that you are uh, supposed to get. How did you, uh, you know, improve? What did you do different in the last few days before the exam? Ah, uh, I thought uh, like I am more emphasizing on the second and. Uh, based uh, short subjects like uh, psyche uh, fm and the terms i have gone through the entire uh, entire book once or twice or thrice so that uh, whenever factual based or something else which is uh, like five five second questions i have to answer in the other four seconds so that was my strategy sir because uh, ini has this uh, time pattern like 180 minutes where i have to uh, like go through the paper within 140 minutes and then i have to review the paper within 20 or 30 minutes sir. so that uh, uh, i have this idea like uh, whenever i received that all ticket with the pen i write down the numbers like 140 100 and then uh, 35 30 65 30 what this means actually because uh, we don't have clock and all sir there was a timer going through that uh, right side of the corner of the paper so we don't uh, actually uh, we are all in the regular uh, customized to process that we'll see the talk, uh, time it was half an hour over so it was a retrograde manner uh, 180 to 140 was my first 50 questions and then 50 questions so that i barely uh, come across only 20 minutes so that i thought like uh, this was a tough paper so that i can attend uh, whatever i can know like uh, i can't i can't go through wrong with the five second questions that was my strategy okay. sir okay so you basically made sure that the questions that are direct the questions that have been previously asked you should be able to answer them in one go without wasting time so essentially you revised more and more uh, to you know master those questions and topics wonderful wonderful now is there any parting advice or advice that you would like to give your juniors who are looking forward to cracking ini set exam in the future a few advices uh, i think uh... go uh, with the second and third prof with the uh, subjects very very strong like uh, path micro form and then uh, short subjects which are very very high yielding i think i have recalled uh, fm questions uh, there are around 10 questions from the fm sir there are around uh, 8 to 9 questions from the psychiatry which are very very high yielding like 10 questions which means uh, 5% of the syllabus 5% of the paper so it was very high yielding uh, so you you can't you can't afford to like go through the wrong with the with those subjects like f1 psychiatry derm uh, and then uh, basic prof exams there the options can't be contradictory if you know the fact it was one one go and you have to do it uh, there are medicine and pediatrics like uh, there are more contradictory options where there may be new regulations that it was like uh, if you have read and uh, if you have, like uh, when question is on the antibiotic i think so, pneumonia antibiotic where there all the combinations will be correct i think arison mentioned the, the the combination should be suitable to icu patient non icu that was that cannot be corrected with uh, like uh, factual based that you have to read or like uh, applied one which in uh, is applied in the wards so that that can't be contradictory mm. so i thought of uh, going strong with the second and third prof So, so you essentially are saying ki focus on areas where you know that you can score higher with less effort compared to uh, subjects where you need a lot of effort a lot of understanding a lot of clinical experience and practice to answer those questions right so yes, first year second year subjects are a must short subjects should not be ignored these are the areas where you have to put in less effort to get more score these are high yielding subjects and you cannot compromise on them wonderful wonderful we are so happy that you have taken the time to share your strategy with us and the juniors i wish you all the best uh, one last question i want to ask you is how many questions did you attempt on this exam 
I've attended 198, sir. 198, wonderful. And what is the speciality you're looking forward to take up in the counseling? Sir, I infectious diseases, sir. Infectious diseases. So I'm sure you will do a wonderful job. I wish you all the best and thank you for being a part of this session. Thank you. Bye-bye. It was very honored to be sharing the screen with you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Nanavel. I wish you all the best. Thank you for speaking to me. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir.